What's up everyone? Welcome back. In this question, we have to take this expression here and we have to write it as a single power with a positive rational exponent. Right? So there's lots going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to try to take all the square roots here and change them to a rational. So I'm going to start off with the large square root on the outside. And when you're square rooting something, let's say you got the square root of x, that's the same as x to the power of 1 over 2, right? Or if we have the third root of something, it would be x to the power of 1 over 3. But here we're just dealing with square roots. So, you know, all of these are going to be to the power of a half. So let's start off with the outside. So basically, we would take everything that's inside the big square root. So we have a squared, and then we have the square root of a to the 4, then the square root of a to the 8, and that's going to be all to the power of a half. All right, so for now, all I did was I took the square root on the outside, switched it to a rational exponent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this square root, switch it to a rational exponent as well. So I'm going to rewrite the big bracket. Notice this a squared here, it's not under this square root. So that a squared is going to be on the outside. And then everything here, I'm going to put in brackets. So I'm going to have a to the power of 4, and then I'm going to have square root of a to the power of 8, and that's going to be all to the power of 1 half, like that. All right, so all of this here, I took to the power of a half. I got rid of this square root. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this square root here and get rid of it. So I'm going to rewrite everything. So I'll have a squared, another bracket here. I'll have a to the power of 4. And then this, a to the power of 8, will be to the power of a half. Then I got to close the bracket. There's going to be a half here. Then I got to close the big bracket. And there's going to be a half on the outside. Right? So you want to be really careful with these brackets here. You want to make sure that you're not accidentally maybe putting like this a to the power of 4 inside the bracket here because that's not being square rooted. This is being square rooted. And then that whole expression is then being square rooted. And then that whole expression, right? All of this is being square rooted. Right? So just be very careful when you're switching these. Um, square roots to rational exponents. Start with the outside first, that's my suggestion, and then just move your way in. Once you have everything as rational exponents, you can work from there. And, and then once I'm in this format, the way I like to simplify it is I like to start with the inside bracket first. Right, so when I'm changing the radicals, I start with the outside radical, move my way in, and then I like to start from the inside, simplify from the inside, and move my way out. So the most inside bracket is this one over here. So we have a to the power of 8 to the power of a half. And with exponent rules, notice we can multiply these two exponents. So 8 times a half is 4. Right? So this whole expression here would change to a to the power of 4. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that expression and rewrite it as a to the power of 4. So this bracket here I'm going to rewrite, so I'm going to write a to the power of 4 times a to the power of 4. Right? I just took this expression, switched it to a to the power of 4. And then I'm going to close the bracket there. All of that is still going to be to the power of a half. And then I'm going to have this a squared on the outside, and then all of that is going to be to the power of a half, right? And then I move on to the next bracket. So the next bracket, the next smallest bracket is this one here. So notice now that we have two exponents that are multiplying by each other and they have a common base, right? Two exponential expressions so we can add the exponents. So this bracket here, I'm gonna change to a to the power of eight then all of that is still going to be to the power of a half, 
we're still going to have this a to the power 2 on the outside, and then all of that is still going to be to the power of a half. All right, so notice how every step we're working with less and less and less. We're combining things, right? So here we combine these two exponents to get this expression. And then in the next line, we took these two expressions and combined them, right? And then from here, I'm going to take this 8 multiplied by this half. That would give us 4. So we'll have a to the power of 2. Then when you're multiplying these, we'll have a to the power of 4. And that's going to be all still to the power of a half. Right? So I just took this expression, changed it to a to the power of 4. Then these two expressions will change to a to the power of 6. That will still all be to the power of a half. And then that finally simplifies to a to the power of 3. So that there is the final answer to this question. So all of this simplifies to that. Now there's actually multiple methods of doing this. You may find another method. So you may switch this inside radical first to a uh, rational exponent, simplify that, then simplify this and move your way out. Whichever way you do it, it should simplify to this. Just be very careful when you're switching radicals to rational exponents Make sure that you're not adding anything or leaving anything out that's supposed to be under the radical. So for example, like this a squared should always be on the outside of these two radicals, right? So just make sure you're very careful when you're rewriting the expression.